Welcome to another gorgeous day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. And well today folks we got a special one for you. This is the demo redesigned 2017 Acadia SLT2 all wheel drive shown here in the very nice Ebony Twilight Metallic. Under the hood it's rocking the 3.6 liter dock direct injected V6 engine with the 6 speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is all leather and down here are the controls for the 8-way power adjustable driver's seat including lumbar support. On the inside of the driver's side door there is quite a bit of storage as well as the Bose premium speakers which do allow for the best sound and quality when listening to your music. And up here is the automatic trunk button where you can have it set to open up all the way, three quarters of the way or off. And up here is the windows, powered windows, window lock, powered mirrors, powered lock and unlock, and the two memory sets for the mirrors and seats. Now we're going to start the vehicle up, so one foot on the brake, and push and hold the push start ignition, which is pretty cool. And starting on the left hand side here is the electronic parking brake. Uh, over on, behind the left hand side of the steering wheel are the lights and indicators. On the left hand side here are all the cruise control buttons as well as your forward collision warning. Sorry, give me a second here. I uh, actually accidentally called OnStar, which I will get to in just a second. Behind the left hand side here are these two buttons, which are for the favorites for the radio. So on the right hand side here we have the Bluetooth and hands free buttons and the and behind the right side we have the covers. Behind here we have the buttons. And now looking at the center touch screen here, the vehicle does come with AM, FM, and XM radios, as well as you can connect your phone to it. That projection icon means that it is car Apple Play as well as Android Auto friendly. It does also come with navigation here, so as I press that, a map does pop up, which is quite nice. And there are also some settings, text message settings, and some OnStar settings to go through. And there's also this rear climate button, so when I press that, you can see that I do have all the controls for the rear climate, which is pretty cool. So you can change the different speed of the fans here, and temperature, and all that fun stuff. And just below that are the radio controls, so volume on the left, changing of the stations on the right. The radio button will switch between AM, FM, and XM radios, and the media button will switch between any USB import, auxiliary import, or any Bluetooth devices that are connected. And below that are the aircon controls, which does include front and rear defrost, as well as dual climate control, which means I can have the driver set to 17 and the passenger set to 18, which is quite nice for when the driver and passenger do a different temperature wants. The driver passenger seats which is great for those cooler months. And below is a little bit of storage as well as an auxiliary power outlet and two USB ports and an auxiliary input. And looking down there are uh, the traction control button and the hazard. Two cup holders are found in between the seats here as well as the four wheel drive selection. Parking assist there and the lane keep assist are also located there. There's a nice armrest here and when I lift it up on the inside there is quite a bit of storage. And looking straight up, there's a sunroof, which is great for letting in some of that fresh air and sunshine. But if it is a little bit too sunny outside, you can always pull that shade over and block it all out. And to uh, reopen the shade, all you have to do is push right there, and it will go back automatically. And that is controlled and operated using the buttons located up here. And just behind there are the three garage door buttons. And if we keep moving forward there, if you click that OnStar button, which I did earlier, uh, you will be connected to OnStar and they can help you out with any situation that you are in, including pinpointing a destination for you here on this screen. And now making our way over to the passenger side, there's a nice glove box here which opens up and offers quite a lot of room and storage for any objects. And on the passenger side door, there is the powered lock and unlock, the powered windows, and the Bose premium speakers. Have a look at those gorgeous 20 inch aluminum wheels there that just looks so nice. And as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle, lined along this whole rear bumper here are the ultrasonic rear parking sensors which do go hand in hand with a backup camera that does show up for you on the inside of the vehicle on the center screen which will help make backing this vehicle up very easy.
Now there are already a couple ways to open up the trunk. One is to press the button located on the inside of the driver's door. Another is to go down here and press the button located behind there. Or you can double click the lower right hand button here on the key fob and the trunk will open automatically. Now once it is fully open, back here you can see there is quite a lot of room. As well as an auxiliary power outlet. And there's also some hooks on the right and left hand side so you can secure a cargo nut back here to help separate some items as well as there is uh, this nice piece here which you can uh, support a nice little cargo shelving area to help again separate some of those items. Now these uh, third row seats do also fold down flat. Just gotta pull on this rope here a bit and push down and they do fold down flat. <clears throat> I'll do so for this other one so you can see just how much room we do have. And now there is even more room back here which is great for if you do want to go camping or if you have lots of lots of stuff to move there is certainly lots of room back here now to close the trunk you can either do it manually with the handle here or press the button and it will close automatically now looking at the rear passenger side door here on the inside there is quite a bit of storage as well as the powered window control now before i actually take a seat within the second row and third row seating here. I'm gonna show you that uh, there are a few cool levers here that do uh, cool things with the second row seating. So if you pull up on this one, the seat will actually fold down flat. So if you have the third row seats folded down and the second row seats folded down flat, there is tons of room back here to store anything. So as I lift this back up, there's also another cool feature where on this lever right here, if you pull this up, the seat will actually fold up a little bit and you can slide that all the way forward. And now anyone getting into that third row can do so with ease. <clears throat> now behind the passenger seat there is a little bit of storage as well as there is some behind the driver's seat and behind the middle console there are some air con controls so the fan speed there temperature right there heated second row seats which is quite nice and then there's also a power outlet and two usb ports which is great for charging some of the mobile devices and this is also a really cool feature there is storage for days it just keeps going there's tons of storage also back here and as I turn around here, <clears throat> these second row seats, they also have this nice armrest, which do fold down, which does allow for a little bit more of a relaxing ride when you're going on some of those longer journeys. And as I turn up here, there's a surprise. Click that button and a gorgeous sunroof is revealed. It's perfect for letting in some of that natural sunlight. Now, as I squeeze my way over to the third row here, there's a few cool things back here as well. There is a handy USB port right there for charging some of the mobile devices for anyone sitting here in the third row. There's also a nice cup holder here, nice little bit of storage there. And on the right hand side, there's also another cup holder. So now six people can sit in this vehicle very comfortably. What a gorgeous vehicle inside and out, folks. And it does not stop with the gorgeous looks because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar as well as having its very own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot which does mean that you can safely surf the web whilst in the vehicle, which will help move time along very quickly when you are going on some of those longer rides. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome demo redesigned 2017 Acadia SLT2 all-wheel drive shown here in the very nice ebony twilight metallic. Under the hood, it's rocking the 3.6 liter dock direct injected V6 engine with the six speed automatic transmission. If you want to test drive this vehicle, we're located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.